so let's start this is krishna here and uh, i'll be walking you through today's session which is what is a problem in artificial intelligence that's what we are going to discuss we are going to discuss and how it applies in a general real time scenario also we will see some applications around it and coming to me i am krishna i have been associated with this on type of online trainings for close to 15 years and with edureka i've been part of edureka for the last two and a half years and i have close to 15 years of industry experience where i am working in it as a system development manager that's more about me so let's start with this what is your problem in artificial intelligence today we are going to discuss about what is your problem we'll discuss about importance of auto, uh, what is your problem and we'll understand possible solutions to it then we'll understand how does artificial intelligence solves this problem then this uh, you know since this is an introduction thing i'll walk you through this theoretical stuff because unless if i tell you different approaches maybe you guys can implement what do you know about artificial intelligence what is artificial intelligence to you ai is all about how to make devices think like humans that's what ai is about in that you have uh, two different types of phases like you have machine learning you have deep learning machine learning is where you have different types of learning algorithms where that will help computer to generalize as well as predict un on unseen data that's what machine learning algorithms will do deep learning is a different branch and uh, in the machine learning you have different types of learning categories one of them is supervised another is unsupervised another one is reinforcement learning so this is just one category which you called out ai is all about understand that it is a science where you actually we actually think about how to make computers or devices think like humans so now coming to what is your problem you know this might not be a self explanatory thing but actually the scenario is something like this now you are being given two jugs jug a and jug b a jug a has 4 liter capacity jug b has 4 to 3 liter capacity now you have to get these two exactly 2 liters of water in jug a and one more problem here is they do not have a marker saying this is 2 liter this is 4 liter jugs generally have marker right 1 liter 2 liter that kind of thing you will not have so that's the problem so this is what i am saying there is no measuring mark on the jugs now how do you get that done that's the question so that's what the problem is so it is like you are given two jugs a 4 gallon or you can say 4 liter capacity and a 3 liter capacity and uh, without any measurements how can you exactly get two gallons of water in a 4 gallon jug is the problem we need to solve now this is what we are talking about the importance of water jug problem so it's like you know we have to the reason why they have put best route and all is you have to come up with there are multiple solution to solving this problem if you think about it you yourself will find out n number of solutions but the idea is you have to find the best route to solve this issue that's the whole point of it so let's say you have initial 2 zero liters to come across 2 liters in a 4 gallon jug without any measurement marking on it how do you achieve and how do you come up with the best route is what you need to think about there could be 10 15 different types of solution which we are not aware or there could be when we say we are not aware it's like which one is the best one that you will come to know only when you analyze and put some kind of you know uh, worst case analysis and all that now possible solutions to water jug problem this is one assumption like you can fill a jug from the pump then you can pour water out of the jug to the ground we can pour water from one jug to another because there is no measuring devices available so that way you can try to do it this is certain assumptions we have now i'll tell you the possible solutions so let me open the notepad quickly so if you see like i said we can make certain assumptions so some of the assumptions could be we can fill a jug from the pump that is one assumption we have and another assumption here is we can pour water which is what given in the slide out of a jug to the ground we can pour water from one jug to another so these are the assumptions we have that we should keep in mind there is no measuring device available one jug does not have marker and we do not have any measurement something like a scale and all available that's what assumptions we need to keep in mind these are our assumptions okay so i hope we we are clear now to achieve this what are the possible solutions if we look at as if we actually think about it right like there are like if you just search in internet even for this problem right you will find at least two three solutions easily 
now it's all one solution could be i can quickly tell you the solution one if i write okay first fill the i'm calling this as a let's put a, a four liter fill the four liter jug and empty into n liter jug okay not n liter maybe i'll put the three liter jug then whenever the m liter jug becomes uh, four liter jug becomes empty collect i'm writing in an algorithmic way whenever the three liter jug becomes full empty it and now if you look at from an algorithmic point of view repeat the steps one two three till either the three liter jug or the four liter jug contains two liters of water actually if you look at uh, you know this is the first solution actually if you look at when we write algorithmic way we will not say four liter three liter here i'm just calling out four liter three liter so that you understand but actually you call it as a b or you call it as mn you will give some variable because the problem could change right maybe you are talking about five liter and four liter and you're talking about two liters of water so the situation can change okay so it is this is the first solution and here in this case the assumption is always for from four liter jug into three liter jug that's what the assumption is okay and coming to solution two so first thing is you will fill the four liter jug then you will empty into three liter jug now you know that what is the three liter capacity isn't it now whenever the four liter jug becomes empty you again try to fill it now when the three liter jug becomes full you again empty it and this is the actually key in the first steps itself you will not get the answer like getting a two liters you have to repeat these steps till either the three liter or four liter jug contains two liter of water so i'm just giving the algorithmic thing okay because if you want to solve you have to write it as a program right this is one thing let me write the algorithmic thing okay i'm not telling you in general like high level in general if you want to take high level right i'll show you another mathematical i have to show okay so this is the key actually at the first place itself you will not get you see repeat now the second solution algorithmically if you look at always power from three liter jug into four liter jug this is another solution here in this case you see here we are starting with the three liter jug and empty into four liter jug and whenever the four liter jug becomes empty you fill it and whenever the this is three liter comes full empty it again this is the key guys the first step itself will not come just striding the algorithm which is actually possible to achieve it so in both the cases if you see at the first instance itself you will not get the two liters so this is two possible solutions using ai we can solve it so if you look at if you want me to write properly so it's like this at the first instance you will not get it so if you want me to write it will be something like this first time it will be like this then second time this first one is you know this one where you know you are trying to do all this one by one you have to the stages will be like this like this so if you keep repeating these stages then it will be two this is the key actually these are different steps the only thing the two possible solutions if you look at it the idea here is here you are starting with four liter jug with the assumption that you always pour from four liter into three liter jug here you will start with the three liter jug it's the assumption that you always pour from three liter into four liter jug and 
it is not like at the first instance you get it as you see we will repeat these steps one two three till either the three liter jack or the four liter jack contains two liter of water so it is like a loop you have to write so that you keep repeating the steps the same case here as well so it is like one you start with the two liter another you start with the three liter that's how you do it like for example if you look at this step it will be something like this if i write it first one zero comma five then you have three comma two then you have zero comma two so this is how you get this here is each jug so this is how the steps will go so if you just sit and try to do that math behind it right you will get that so what i'm trying to say is if you look at the way to solve this problem is not that actually easy okay so you have to do n number of things not just one step you do and you get across it this is the key where actually you repeat okay and what do you think the worst case complexity of this what would be the worst case complexity i mean what is the maximum time it can take for achieving this we are saying this many steps it will achieve but what is the worst case complexity let's say i call this as actually the worst case complexity is something like this o of a plus b where a is the you know whatever four liter or three liter jack b is the that means o of a plus seven is o of something like o of seven something like that you will get that is your going to be your worst case complicated the time complexity i'm talking about in terms of space complexity it is just four of one okay i'm talking in terms of data structure so what i'm trying to convey is you have different ways to solve the problem but which one is best it is all depends on the time complexity both the solutions actually take so of a plus b only but if you look at internet you will find other solutions also but these are the two optimistic ways possible to get a two liter water into the four liter jug without any measurement these are the two solutions possible given that it is not there in ppt i have to put that mathematical way okay so how do we get it you have to keep repeating it uh, then only we will come across it in fact you have to write a code that will help us to achieve it i hope you're clear thank you guys see you all bye